Okay, guys, you know what this is? Well, right now it's just heavy cream, but pretty soon it's gonna be butter. Yeah, I made some homemade bread. Nice homemade bread. I'm making homemade butter. I can't wait. All right, it's getting closer. Right now it's like a kind of a thick whipped cream stage. Let's get this going. So I decided I'm going to try to use a paddle instead of keep using the whisk. Right now it's a lot like whipped butter. And the whisk probably will work fine, but I just want to see what it's like with this, with this other paddle attachment. I might switch back, we'll see. But it's got that scraper on the side, so it scrape up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's better. Look at this, look at this. It's not there yet, but it has changed so much in just the last couple minutes. All that cream has like pulled down, starting to turn yellow. There's liquid, uh, the buttermilk down in the bottom. We're getting it really close. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I, always, I always turn the knob the speed knob the wrong direction all right i think i'm as good as we're going to get because it's starting to slosh the buttermilk everywhere and i don't want that to happen uh pour so some of it out, and then keep eating it. maybe i guess i could pour some of it out but i think i think we're actually at the point where i can just clump it up together yeah it's pretty solid that's good all right Okay, now I'm gonna pour off some of this buttermilk, a little sieve here. Get most of it off of there. I'm gonna save that buttermilk, we can use it for something. I think it would need to ferment a little bit before it was like what we think of as buttermilk, but you see that? Look at that, that's all nice to the butter. this out. Now, why am I in the sink? Because you got to wash butter. You want to get all that buttermilk out. So, I've already washed my hands. So now I'm going to turn off some cold water. Water real nice and cold. And I'm glad it's kind of, we're still in winter, so the water coming out of our tap is still pretty darn cold. We live in Texas, so in the summertime, there's not a lot of cold water sometimes. Now I'm going to run this under the cold water and I'm going to kind of knead it and squeeze it a bit. You think that's kind of funny to wash butter, but actually this is what's getting all of the, the buttermilk out. Buttermilk is what will make it turn rancid. Sooner. So the more buttermilk you can get out of it, we just want the fat. That's what butter is. Milk fat. So we just want to get that nice and clean and pure. Of course the cold water helps it stay solidish. I 
think, I think we've got it. All right, so I got my butter. I think it's pretty clean. I'm gonna add some salt to it. How am I gonna do that? I don't know, I'm just making this up. I'm gonna add uh, somewhere between a half and a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm gonna just kinda mix it in. Oh no, that's so sad. I just broke my spatula. This is one of my favorite spatulas too. <gasps> Oh, I know. I know what I need. I might try using a bench scraper. I just took some, some plastic cling wrap and put it on one of my cutting boards because I didn't want the, the butter to get stuck in the cutting board. It's kind of textured. So... Scrape the scraper. All right. I think I'm just gonna get some wax paper. Form that. I'm going to cut that in half and I'll have kind of the equivalent of two sticks. No, four sticks. Okay. And I'm going to wrap those individually. I don't know how to wrap it like they do with like store ones. I don't care. I'm just gonna kind of make this up. I guess I could have done it around. Oh, I should use some compound butter. Y'all know what compound butter is? I should put some some uh, herbs and stuff in. I have to think about that. I might have to come back for that later. All right, y'all. Here we go. They're not very even. It's my first time really doing this, but I got my my butter split into four sticks, kind of, and I salted it. You saw me salt it. Wax paper. I tried different different methods of wrapping them. Uh, this one actually kind of turned out the neatest, but anyway, uh, I'm excited. I'm going to put this in the fridge let them firm up a little bit. I think I might try a little bit of one of them uh, on this homemade bread I made. All right, let's see how this goes here. Feels like butter. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Mmm. 
So, I'm so happy. The first time I've ever had my own homemade bread with my own homemade butter. All from scratch. It's so good. Yay, mommy! My little cheering section back over here. <laughs> the high cheering section. Where are you? Oh, wow, it's a mess out there, ain't it? <laughs> there we go. Hello. Y'all, making butter was super easy. Um, if you've never tried it, try it. You just got to get some cream. You can either do unsalted butter or you can add a little bit of salt. It's super easy. Literally, it's just you put it in your blender or not your blender, your food processor. Or if you have a butter churn. But food processor, not food. What am I talking about? Stand mixer. You might be able to do it in a food processor, actually. Hmm. If you know about that, you put it in the comments. Probably could do it in a food processor now that I think about it with the right attachment. Anyway, and you just do it. If you've ever made whipped cream in your with your or maybe even a hand mixer. Uh, I've even seen people just put it in a jar, like with some marbles or something, and just, you know, shake it and shake it and shake it until it separates. But all you do is put it in there like you're making whipped cream. You just but you let it keep going past the whipped cream stage until the water starts coming out of it and the the fat like starts to coagulate. It's <laughs> a funny term for food, isn't it? But yeah, congeal maybe. And uh, and then wash it, get all, as much of the buttermilk out as possible, and then salt it if you want. Or you could add some herbs and make it compound butter, like some, I don't know, you could do all kinds of stuff. Rosemary, sage, basil, I don't know. A uh, little, little bit of garlic maybe. And then put that, like, put that on top of a steak. Mm. Anyway, this is just plain, nice salted butter, homemade bread. I bet you wish you were here right now. Come on over. I'll share. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. You yeah. got to see Eric make that awesome butter. I'm so excited. Can't wait to eat that. And of course, since this is a talkie video, we have a chickie here. Biscuit Hello. is in her rebellious teen stage. I don't know. She's like running from people and not wanting to be held lately. And like she turned her back on y'all, she's about to flap. Don't do it. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. Oh, oh, oh. Is he going to try to escape? Anyway. What's going on, Biscuit? <laughs> um, we just really appreciate you guys watching. You want to say anything about your masterpiece? I'm pleased. The butter turned out really good. It was delicious. I learned some stuff. I think it'll be easier next time I make it. Oops. But uh, you got to be still. You should try it. <laughs> I can't hold the thing still while I'm talking. <laughs> I'm an expressive person. <laughs> Anyway, it was a lot of fun. The butter was delicious. I have been eating it. I used it this morning to make some eggs. And I want you guys to, oh, say a little prayer for Biscuit. I don't know if she's not feeling good or if she's just in a grumpy mood. Hey, girl. Hey, Bickerbocker boo. If you want to see a video of Eric making some kimchi, check this video out up here. Ah! I don't know, but I'm going to put something really interesting down here for you to watch, okay? And if you want to, and I would ask you to if you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking this lovely picture of me right over here. All right, y'all. Biscuit says goodbye. She is out. She's also very dirty, so she just dusted me up. Oh, she got a stank face right now. She dusted me up because she's actually chicken clean but human dirty. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, we'll guys. see you Bye. later. Bye-bye.